Simulated back here, right? Shot went out on the ex attackman here. Pick up the ball, right? Yeah. Coming in. Now, what are you thinking about, right? Does it matter like what you saw in film with me or what type of player I am or what's going through your head? Yeah, so right off the bat, I would know which hand you are, what your strength is, your dominant hand, and that's how I would start my approach. So if you were as a, a righty, I would try and split your body down the middle with my right foot matching your right foot, right? So I'd be a left foot approach here, right? Because um, this would be my outside foot. So I always want my outside foot to be the one that's in front of my opposite foot. So if Coach Matt were to dodge me here, I knew he was a righty. I'm splitting him in half. And then the second thing for me is I'm always trying to stay on my toes. You know, a lot of guys, when they have trouble changing direction, is they'll end up on their heels, right? So especially when you're trying to match speed, being on your heels is one of the worst things you could do because there's really no ability for you to match that same speed going this way, but also at the same time, if you're trying to plant, change direction, or take a good angle, it's really hard to do if you end up on your heels. So the biggest thing for me is no strength, approach the way I want to with my outside foot, kind of being my top foot, split coach Matt down the middle. I know he's a righty, right? So I'm already kind of shading that strength. I'm not over committing and giving him a freeway towards the goal, but I'm kind of shading that strength just enough where if he tries to go that way, I could take it away easily, but also at the same time not giving his free way to his left.